An instance of the resolved effect task is initiated for each mechanical problem that is identified in the production plant. During the execution of the resolved effect task, if a mechanical fault is identified during investigations that is not related to the current effect, another instance of the resolved effect is started. These sub-processes can also initiate further resolved effect tasks should they be necessary. The parent resolved effect task cannot complete until all child resolved effect tasks that it initiated have been satisfactorily completed. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the recursion pattern. The ability of a task to invoke itself during its execution or an ancestor in terms of the overall decomposition structure with which it is associated. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So here we have the original flash animation. We first complete B and then we have a deferred choice and we choose A. And then there is this first level of recursion now, so we choose A again and then we get a second level of recursion. And in the third case we choose A again and then we have a third level of recursion. And now we just choose D each time and then we finish the, f the first level of recursion or the last one if you, if you like. And then A continues and C continues. Then we have A and C for the second level of recursion. And finally A and C for the first level of recursion. In BPMN this can be modeled using a call activity. The call activity must have the same process identifier as the whole process. Let's have a look at the token simulation in BPMN. We have the process here and the token animation doesn't really support this recursive behavior. So we start with a mechanical problem, we analyze it, look for mechanical faults and let's assume we find another mechanical fault. So this process token of this first level will wait here and now the call activity is activated and the ID of this call activity is the same ID as of the whole process. So there is another instance of this process started, starts here, analyze problem, look for mechanical faults. And now assuming that we don't find another mechanical fault, we go here, we say no, and we resolve this second problem. And as soon as this is finished here, then this call activity is finished and we finally resolve the original problem. The token simulation does not handle the colors of the tokens correctly because it ignores the recursion. Thank you for watching.